Hello Aries, I want to thank everyone for watching this video. I know it's late. November and especially December was a challenging month for me and um, the last two weeks I've been feeling a lot better um, but um, you know emotionally um, not me feeling uh, crazy just dealing with another person in situations but <laughs> um, yeah I was I'm very proud of myself for being cool and just being balanced and all of that stuff. So, you know, it's life, but, but I feel like I've definitely leveled up and I think everything that happens to us is pushing us to our greater self. I really, really, I'm not just saying that because it sounds good, but man, I really friggin' believe it. I really do. Um, all right, fire sign. So I'm flipping a negative into a positive and I was like, F doing this video, I'm not going to do it. You know, I just wasn't in the space to give. I had to really think about myself because I'm always giving, you know, because I don't like anyone to lose. And I um, was raised to be helpful and helpful. But of course, you know, I learned to draw my line and my limit. And anyway, so um, what I wanted to do is flip a negative into a positive, which is the way to friggin go. So this is a reflection tarot video. So you've already know what you've freaking been through in December. OK, so if you're watching this video, then you want to watch it that's how i feel on my my channel like you know if someone's here you want to be here right so the last three cards is really i want to put the intention that this is the strongest message that you can get your whole message to the whole reading and then look up these cards meaning yourself take the time and sit down and see how it affects you okay so here's the 11 cards the ten of swords eight of coins two of staves temperance four of swords seven of swords three of staves nine of cups the star card five of swords and seven of staves so i'm just going to tell the story so there's an issue of someone being um backstabbing a betrayal there's some kind of misunderstanding usually has to do with um money and the time and energy of um maybe someone putting in their time or it has to just do with the time and energy of creating something and putting it out there to make money. And there's a disagreement on that. So maybe writing things down, being clear so that there's no misunderstanding. And this is like a, a timeless lesson, right? So whatever that backstabbing betray is, that's what it's mainly surrounded by. Okay, time, energy, money, creating something, selling it. And really now move, trying to move in, move forward and putting yourself back on that jive, that road of, of, of success that you're on and to keep moving forward and really finding your peace and your balance and, and having patience. And that's not really easy for a fire sign, but really allowing that to happen so that you can really master that balance of water and earth and all the elements and your time and your energy and just finding that spiritual understanding right and making sure you have time to really reflect on what happened we friggin learn from it um so that you know and i believe that if you don't learn from something it just that lesson just keeps getting worse and worse and more intense so really freaking learn from it and relax heal move forward see things for what they really are and be careful who you trust because if you're tr trusting and i've seen this people trusting on just prejudging prejudice or their own kind of thoughts and then they end up getting screwed over because they're not really looking at the situation for what it really is or seeing what's really happening so maybe you've experienced um protecting something you own or there was something of uh stealing going on really and just finding a new way of, of, of remedying that situation um moving forward going after what kind of goal do you want to go after you know trying to make up your mind do i actually act on this now or do i wait and when things like that happen it's really taking the time to think it through or even really looking at um um if you're watching tarot then you'd know the, the phases of the moon and and other and other things to know when to start something or when not to start something right um okay so um make sure that you get back into the habit of displaying your gifts your talents really um writing it down and if you feel like you're a really good writer and explaining it great but maybe you have to write it down and then hand it over to someone and have them 
polish it up so it can show your greatness, what you've achieved, because that's going to help you to get to your goal. Maybe it's redoing a resume or promoting something that you're trying to um, sell or whatever, right? So really finding your purpose again or refreshing your purpose again would be really good. That's the, the third to last card, okay? The star card. Um, if there's any kind of um, a jealousy, disturbance, um, any kind of like, I don't want to say evil eye, but just negativity from people. You want to really clear that out, you know, because then you want to find your footing and, 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 and defending yourself, protecting yourself and knowing that you're going to come out of this a champion. Okay. So knowing your life purpose and really, um, limiting or settling down, you know, shutting down any kind of, um, jealousy, competition, um, ego kind of type of energy really clearing that out the best way where it de-escalates the situation and finding your footing again and just know that if you're doing something good you know people are going to be jealous there are people out there that's always going to be jealous um are not willing to work as hard they only see your wins and they don't see your struggle and your hard work that you put in they might think that things just come easy for you but you were working hard for it you know so just know that that you know these three cards three cards look it up see what it means for you and 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 really close out december on a high note with wisdom because the wisdom is learning from something and moving the f forward the star card five of swords and seven of staves okay so looking forward to your your 2019 reading all right um your january 2019 reading and the the um boar or the pig new moon um um sorry new year Chinese New Year, um, the second new moon after the winter solstice. <laughs> All right, the, the real start of the new year if you go by the moon calendar. And, um, you know, enjoying January 1st, New Year, New Year's Eve, and really closing out December in a positive note. And, um, yeah, you know, being grateful at this time of the year for survival and the things that you have right now for survival. So thank you guys for riding with me. I hope your November and December you learn from it and, and come out on the end stronger. And uh, I, I hope that you appreciate this reflections uh, video. And I uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, peace.